Let's configure SSH. So we have a 2960 catalyst switch here by Cisco, and over here we have a computer. I'm going to take a copper straight through cable, plug it into my Ethernet port on the computer, into fast Ethernet 1 on the switch. Now on the switch, we're going to go ahead and go into enable mode, config terminal. Here we will generate a username and password. The next thing we're going to do is set a domain name. I'm just going to use anvil.com. You could do any domain name you want. The next thing we'll do is type in crypto key generate RSA. So here it will tell me that we cannot generate the RSA key because it needs a host name other than the default that's switch. So we type in hostname sw1 and now we can type in this command. It'll ask how many bits you want to encrypt this to. So this is basically saying the higher the number is, the more secure it's going to be. We'll leave it at the default for now. So for the default, we'll just press enter. Basically what that does is, as we know from the previous video, Telnet is not encrypted. All of the data is being sent through clear text. Anybody can monitor it. But with SSH, with SSH, we create this RSA key generation that encrypts the data that we send across the network. Next, we will enable IP SSH version 2. So we cannot create SSH version 2 when the keys are at the default 512. It has to be at least 768. So we got to go back to this command by pressing up arrow. Do you want to replace what I currently have? Y for yes. Oh, yes. So I'll type in 1024 bits. And then we'll go ahead and enable SSH version 2 now. And now it has been enabled, no problem. The next thing we'll do is edit the line VTY 0 to 15 just as we were doing with the Telnet. Those are the ports that our computers will be plugged into when they're being plugged into the switch so that we can access it through SSH. This command basically just saying it's enabling the transport of SSH that's being inputted into the switch. We'll type in login local to enable someone to log in. And now, if we were to just connect to this switch right now, it wouldn't work because we don't have an IP address. So we got to go into the first VLAN, and here we can set an IP address. Let's do 192.168.0.1. Incomplete command. I forgot the subnet mask. Zero. And then no shutdown. Now we can exit out of here. The first thing we need on this desktop, as we saw in the last video, we couldn't connect to it right away because we didn't configure an IP address. Here I'm setting the gateway of the switch. And here I will type in ssh-l for Lawrence. Dash L for Lawrence. And I'll type in the username, the IP address of the switch, and then press enter. It'll ask for a password. This password will be the one I set, will be James. Enter, enter. Press enable to go into enabled mode. It won't let us go in here because there's no password set on the switch. So we have to go back into the switch and go into just the config mode. Enable password or secret. We can use secret as well. Enable secret, basketball. Go back to the computer, type in basket. Oops, enable basket. 
basketball. There you go. So now we have connected to the switch using SSH. I hope you've gathered valuable information from this video. I'll see you on the next lesson.